take you to the North Rift to bring you that chat we had with First Lady Margaret Kenyatta earlier in the day. The First Lady is preparing for the London Marathon and has been practicing in the Athletics town of Iten. Edith Kimani caught up with her on a windy morning just as she finished her run. Our first meeting with Margaret Kenyatta is before the crack of dawn. We have gone to E10 where she is training for the London Marathon and we get to the training grounds before she does. Upon her arrival, it becomes clear that this is going to be no ordinary training. But being first has not stopped this lady from making history. On the 9th of June, Mrs. Kenyatta became the first first lady to run a marathon. It is here at the home of champions and in the most grueling conditions that she hopes to strengthen her efforts to run 42 kilometers in the coming month. But in your team, everyone has to finish. Uh, we have to finish. We have to we'll finish. finish. We'll finish. Okay. So, I mean, I, I was also Walking is allowed. Speak. Walking is allowed. Yeah. Do you want to walk there? Not the whole thing, no, no. But, but if you get tired, you walk a bit, then you run again. Then you walk a bit. I do. I have to ask you. Yeah. Why did you pick running? I think boxing would have been so much easier. Uh, I don't like boxing for a start. <laughs> <laughs> and running is a, is a very, very Kenyan thing. It's very grueling, though. Yeah. It's a, yeah, get, uh, it's a get healthy thing. So, the relationship between the running and the reduction of maternal mortality child mortality as well. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of people don't understand it because I was speaking to a few of my friends and they were saying, okay, and then just gonna run, then what? Running raises the money, raises awareness. Yeah. And then we, we get the money to buy the mobile clinics. But while we're doing that, we're getting Kenyans healthy. Up until now, the First Lady has been somewhat of a mystery. Married to the President, an in-law to the former President, and daughter to the former Kenya Railways Corporation Director, Margaret Kenyatta, even with her famous family, has managed to remain surprisingly enigmatic. Then there is a style icon status she has received, from her hair to her clothes and even her voice. Bloggers have written everything they can about what they see, which leads me to an unconventional discussion. Let's talk about the hair now. Because everyone... You mean you're serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> everyone asks about your hair every time there's a hair blog. Have you not seen? <laughs> no. Everyone talks about your hair, so I was told. It's um, natural. It's naturally salt yes, and it's pepper. Yes, it's natural. Yeah. It's naturally salt and pepper. And so you wake up in the morning, a quick rub, and that's Just it. Just brush it, yeah. A quick brush, and that's it. And that's it. I really like it. Thank you. Do you mind if I keep it? No. Sorry, that's a strange request. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice. I noticed one of her staff pointing at her wrist. Our time is up and we have to end our conversation. The First Lady, however, says that Beyond Zero is just the first of many plans she has for the health sector. Once we've gone Beyond Zero in the maternal and child health, yeah. we move on to the next the next health issue. Do you know what that's going to be or do you have television? I have right now. Yeah, right now, we need to sort this one out first. Away from the cameras, the conversation ends much like it began. Is that really?